We're ready. We're ready. The other day, I realized a lot of people watch my worst experiences getting my makeup done, but I never hear of anyone getting their makeup done badly. So today, I thought I wanted to share the stories. So the other day, I downloaded Reddit. Yes, it was like 3 a.m. in the morning. I was desperate. I wanted to introduce you this community of uh, makeup <laughs> dramas. <laughs> Today I look sick and I also sound a little bit sick. I don't know. I am getting allergies and stuff So I'm not gonna show my face today But the other day I got my makeup done with my friend and makeup artist Zoe B and I don't know I felt it was interesting to watch as well. So yeah without any further ado I would say get into the makeup, but actually we're already into the makeup. So let's get just into the reading <laughs> If you have a makeup horror story, do let me know in the comments. I, I would actually love reading them. So I actually found a Refinery29 article on Reddit and oh my god, the stories. A few years ago, I was using liquid eyeliner and the applicator was dripping with the product. I began to apply it when a huge ass firework goes off pretty much outside my window. That's a little bit random, but sure. I jump and jab the applicator into my eyeball, full of stinging black liquid. After rolling around on the floor in a pain for a minute or two, I looked in the mirror. My poor eye was glowing red for two days, and somehow I managed to get eyeliner coming out of my nose. What? <laughs> How, How far, far in did you stab, stab your eye? eye? I mean, look, I personally think this might not i mean i'm not saying it's not true i'm just saying i don't think all of it it's true maybe she just stabbed her eye accidentally without any like trigger behind it you know sometimes that happens to me <laughs> This is going to horrify you guys, but back in high school, I used to put my eyeshadow sponges with my mouth? What? Ew! My senior year, I got to compete at nationals for forensics in Las Vegas and got the worst eye infection in the world. Somewhere between getting off the plane and my first morning there. I remember my eye itching really bad before I went to bed, with my makeup still on, mind you. And when I woke up, I could barely open my right eye. Oh my god. Y'all, this is a gentle reminder that don't go to sleep with your makeup on. Literally, you will, you will lose your eyes. It was swollen, shot, and leaking. And the skin around my eye was red and flaky. The infection eventually spread on the other eye the next day. I had to do the entire competition with my eyes swollen shut and they stayed that way the entire week I was there. Oh my god, my skin didn't heal around my eyes for months. So I went makeup free for quite some time. I mean, at least you learned something. <laughs> Almost 40 years ago, I actually did yank out most of my lashes on my right eye using an eyelash curler. Oh my god. I everyone came out but a few strays in the corner it was my first week in high school I was never so grateful for having to wear glasses I am sure I made up some stupid story for how I lost them but I don't remember what it was I didn't buy another eyelash curler until around five years ago or so oh my god that happened 40 years ago oh my god I can imagine the trauma if I lost all my lashes I wouldn't go out to, in public. I wonder how much did it like did you wear like a serum to like help them grow again? Or do you just like leave them to grow again? <laughs> I was trying that glitter under the eye look and fell asleep with a lot of glitter under my eye. What's the glitter under my eye look? <laughs> I have never heard of that one. When I slept, some went in my eye and cut it all up. <gasps> I ended up getting a massive eye infection and being off uni for a few days because it was so painful. Oh my god. <gasps> what do you mean? But like the glitter cut your eye? Is that even possible? Oh my god. Hope your vision is doing fine. I'm actually concerned for you. <laughs> I 
I was trying to wax my upper lip for the first time, but ripped, <gasps> but ripped my upper lip skin off instead. Oh my god. I was so afraid that I'd have a dark scar above my lips forever. My skin is very scar prone. And it would look like a thick mustache. Oh my god. You know, something like this happened to me like a while ago when I was like 12. I, oh my god, people are gonna come at me for this. But I used to clean my skin with alcohol, like straight up alcohol. So I took like cotton and alcohol and I rubbed it in my nose. And I rubbed it so harsh and so much that actually like a layer of skin came off and it was just like a hole on my nose. Oh my god, this is so gross. I'm so sorry. Like it was fresh flesh. <laughs> I exposed the flesh and I went under the sun and that became like really, really dark. I literally looked like a cow. So this reminds me of that. Anyway, so I immediately went to an emergency clinic and got myself silver cream to apply on the spot. The doctor was an asshole though. <laughs> he looked like he was sifling his laughter when I told him I was waxing my upper lip. I was drunk and decided to straighten my hair. Okay, that is a terrible sentence to begin a story with. <laughs> Got a bit distracted and clamped the straightener down on my ear. Eesh. Hurt like hell and blistered, but I got away without a scar. Okay. Don't drink and use heated hair tools. I think that's an unspoken rule. Just just get away from everything sharp and hot when you are drinking. And if you're underage, please don't drink. Go and I don't know, make some lemonade. <laughs> so I used to use lash extensions all the time. And usually it went really smoothly. But one time the lashes were not cooperating and I added way too much glue. If you've ever done last extensions at home, you know that glue is basically like super glue. It dries super hard and plasticky. I... The glue chunk on one of my lids was so sharp and scratchy, it was rubbing me raw just from opening and closing my eyes. Even leaving oil and Vaseline on it overnight didn't dissolve it. I don't think lash glue is supposed to do that. Or is it? Is it supposed to do that? Eventually, I got fed up and ripped... Oh my god! Eventually, I just got fed up and ripped out the chunk of lashes. My real lashes. I had a big scab on my lid for a while after that. You know what? I don't think you should have been the one <laughs> doing the lashes then. Like, maybe go to a professional, like a proper professional, and you can get your lashes done. But you know, that's expensive as well. Oh, let's see. I love how casual this story is beginning. Oh, let's see. How about the time in fifth grade I decided to wear my mom's liquid foundation to school with nothing else on my face? I mean, I feel I've done that too. You know, I was like maybe 12 <laughs> and stole my mom's makeup. She's very fair skinned. I'm very olive skinned. I laid that stuff on so thick, covered my lips, covered my eyebrows. Yes, this is a great look. A girl's school said, um, you need a compact. Okay. Okay. This. How old are you? I wonder how old are you? Like, if you're a girl, don't tell me I need to use this, okay? We're all learning here. <laughs> For whatever reason, I thought compact meant condom. <laughs> oh my god. I thought she was complimenting me because I looked so good. I didn't even know what a condom was. Isn't that a thing people do when they have sex? Oh, okay, she was very young then. That was so cute. The story is so cute. You know, when we're kids, we don't know what we're doing. Let alone what we're doing with our makeup. We don't know what looks good or bad. If we learned anything in this video is that, you know, beauty is pain. Scarring. <laughs> Not only metaphorically, but physically as well. Like I said at the beginning of the video, do let me know if you have any traumatic makeup stories. I'd love to read them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
I will see you next time with more trauma.